That's all they're trying to get through that. Don't, don't, <laughs> wait, let's not bring that up, okay? It was one time. So in the E3, in the E3 demo, at the end of one of the showcases, there's this little concrete tube, okay, that you have to thread the needle through. And I think I tried about 10 times, and I just kept hitting the concrete, which was quite stressful. It was, it was, okay, it was so. a good moment. It was a good moment. Mm -hmm. uh, am, I, am I up first? Mm -hmm. So, okay, right. what the objective we've come up with here, okay, is it's the first one to get it into the uh, sheep into the horse in the quickest time. I, th I think it's things so you can do it, <laughs> and we, we haven't got a clock, so we're just going to deem. Oh, actually, the, I think the mixer chat can decide who's the been the most successful <laughs> at, uh, at herding the sheep. And also, someone was wanting to see cockpit view earlier, so. So there you go. Yeah, there's been cockpit. Right, there we go. I feel like maybe they're, they're, they're running away from you. They're canning these sheep. <laughs> you've, you've completely lost them. They've just disappeared. Yeah. Actually, one other thing that's worth calling out there is we, we now have this viewer standard on all of our cars. This is brand new. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, so this is something that mm. um, we did for the E3 demo last time. Uh, so it uh, looked really great if you're using a wheel setup uh, at home. Um, so now everybody's, uh, everybody's got their options. But it is, on, it is on all cars now, I yeah. think I am right. So that is correct, yeah. yeah. Um, Daniel Banks has actually just asked, is, is that the white horse? It is. It is the white horse. I think that's going to be the amazing thing, is all the little details that people notice, and like kind of all the landmarks and areas. I think that's something that it's peak players is going to get, especially if you're from, the UK, from Britain. You're just going to be like, oh, this is a really cool thing to see. Try like the, it's like the balloons all at Brist around Bristol. Mm. I tried right. to get a good run up at them that time. Obi21 says, Whoa. You are ruining someone's farm. You're breaking, <laughs> you're breaking all their walls, you're knocking all the signs over. That is, so, honestly, that was one of the things I heard most post E3 uh, after Are There Potholes? Um, was, um, would someone think of the poor farmers? <laughs> right, all the, all the, the, the sort of dry stone walls, which you know, which are all over Britain and we couldn't not include and we also couldn't make them like unbreakable because that would just be, you know, that would not be fun. Um, so we made them breakable and suddenly uh, people are really concerned about, uh, uh, about the farmers. Uh. Um, but it, they, they get rebuilt almost immediately uh, by, by the Horizon team. Uh, so, so no one... Hard at work. No one, one time. Yeah, if you were to go back there in two minutes, rebuilt, perfect. So, uh, you are highly efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's important. It's important. Maybe I should try to like get one of the sheep by knocking the stone into them. <laughs> the what? Just knock the sheep out of the I, stone? I, well, yeah. I, I'm thinking of coming at them from all angles. Basically. I, they are incredibly mobile. That is the. I did say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, like, oh, the, hard, the hardest, the hardest things to do in all time is like catch a sheep. Um, also, KFC Crispy just says. Who needs a dog if you've got a car? Indeed. It's just replacing sheep dogs. It's like, taking them work. Well, clearly not on this. Uh, this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try and like round them inside the horse. What are you, do are you doing? It all nice Shall we do fun? a race? Shall we go and do a race? Where's Andy? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Andy, let's, let's take a look at a Cannot race. be on screen for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Debo Robot, poor sheepies, can you talk more about the houses? Can I have more than one? Can yes. More than one house? Yes, you can. You can have all 12. So everybody gets the first one, which was actually the one we were at, um, very early in the game, for free, just to give you... Uh, yeah, I know, right? Um, somewhere somewhere to, to, to live. Um, yeah. But the remaining 11 are, are there for you to go by at any point during the game. Um, I guess depending on where you are in the world, it's, it's good to have a house you know, that, that you can restart from, that you can fast travel to, um, or based on just kind of, I, I don't know, like bragging rights as well. I think, I think maybe we were talking about this earlier, the first person who actually buys Edinburgh Castle, because it's super expensive in the game, um, but when somebody saves up and buys it, I think there's going to be real bragging rights about, yeah. you know, like, yeah, I'm the first person to, to own Edinburgh Castle. So. You know, just like, I, I saved all my credits up, got some, got some wheel spins. Yeah. I, yeah, it's one of the things because there's, there's a few different like wheel spin types. And there's two types of wheel spins now, actually. Yeah, and I imagine I think we're going to show them on a forthcoming stream uh, in the coming weeks. Um, so there's the the wheel spin that everybody uh, is familiar with, knows yep. and loves from previous Horizon games. Um, but there is now a super wheel spin as well. Um, and uh, as everyone can guess, super wheel spins are better than normal <laughs> wheel spins. Just the addition of super they're, and you're there. It's yeah, the yeah, so they're actually um, three times uh, as good as normal. So there's three reels rather than one, which all spin 
uh, and you can win, uh, I think as Grant mentioned earlier, uh, you can win cars, you can win cash, you can win emotes and uh, clothing items and uh, chat messages for the, uh, um, for the game as well. So they're super fun to, uh, to see what you can get out of them. I just keep getting obsessed every time I see it and look at the game. It's just like the, the, all the little details and like... It's, wait, what's that? that is, is that that castle? Was that so like that, a little, yeah. I was going to say for a castle fan, that is uh, yeah, that's that true. is one of the, the three castles in the game, I want to say. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah, is that, yeah. Is so, that so, one you can buy or is that...? No, so this is actually the, the location for the Horizon Festival this time around. So we've, we've set it within the ruins of this, this old castle. Um, which was, it was something that um, somebody, somebody gave me a, a, a note to watch um, John Wick 2 and there was a really cool scene in that movie where they had like a club that had been set up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it, so it was like, oh, that's a really cool idea. And then the whole, you know, prize and festival, the colour and all the lights and the, the sort of installation pieces you expect to see in the, in the festival, plus the sort of ancient architecture of Britain felt like a cool combo that we could use. Yeah, it's a nice little combination like, yeah. yeah. to get it. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Banks has also asked, are bonus boards still a thing? Bonus boards are still totally a thing, yeah. Uh, and I think actually, again, I, I realise I'm like teasing stuff that's in future weeks a lot here, but in future weeks, uh, I think we're going to let you go and look at some of the more devious placements for uh, for bonus boards um, around the world because there are still hundreds of them to go and find, and sometimes they're just you know they're by the side of the road or in a field, um, but a lot of the time uh, our uh, our designers take a great deal of pleasure in hiding them in difficult to reach places, uh, and we've done that this time, uh, and I think we're going to go hunting for a couple of them, uh, maybe next week, uh, maybe in spring. So go have a hunt for some boards in the spring as well. Absolutely. Uh, guys, remember, if you've got any more questions that you want to ask Ralph and Ben to answer, drop them in the chat and we'll have a chance to do them. Because remember, we're looking at gameplay from summer right now, uh, which I think is like the more traditional like um, season that players will have been used to from... So, like, yeah, Google Horizon has, has always been a, a, a summer game, right, yeah. right, right back to the, the, the first one. It's always been kind of... I mean, we've always described it yeah. as an endless summer. Um, which I guess is double-edged, right, and that it's, hey, that, that's what everyone wants, but also it never ends. Um, now we have this real sense of sort of time moving on and progressing, um, and, and thus you living at this place, um, like, for reals. Um, so, so, yeah, absolutely. Summer is the traditional um, season of, uh, of Horizon, but now you're going to be experiencing it all year round. I just get, like, every time I look at these, like, races and stuff, because one of my big, biggest things I've loved with Horizon games in the past is all the different race types you have. And I think having the seasons and kind of, like, being able to complement those styles is just going to change players' approaches and kind of expand on it. Like, what's your personal favourite in summer, especially, kind of, like, race to go and do? So I'm a massive cross-country fan, um, and we have... I think we've got some of the best cross countries we've ever done in, uh, in uh, Horizon games. Partly that owes to the fact that this is probably, uh, definitely, the most mm -hmm. vertical world we've ever, yeah. ever created. And I know that some of our fans have, you know, have given us feedback about Australia being you know, pretty flat. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to have that uh, that criticism of this game. This has just made me want to go to that jump. You know, <laughs> you, you know the yeah. one I'm on about. Okay, this is kind of sick because I think that is the talking like the verticality of the game there are some ridiculous jumps yeah like, and, and also another thing that everybody you know was really asking for which which we've got in this game some some proper um tarmac uh switch switch backs. Backs. yeah yeah uh, so you can you know get your drift on and then that's i mean personally that's my sort of favorite thing to do in this game is to race on on asphalt it's um yeah it's kind of it's super fun yeah. what, is that is that kind of like a lot faster? Is it kind of? I don't know. I just think there's something about the technicality that's involved with that that style of racing that really appeals to me personally. Um, but yeah, the, the, there's some really really cool pieces of, of, of road network in this game that people are going to be able to, mm -hmm. to real, really test their skills on. I think we've just seen that it's from the from the gameplay that we've seen so far. Just the, how much differentiation from like kind of drifting tracks, kind of on like kind of like um, more dirty roads to like kind of just riding along the motorways here. Yeah. Um, I think this is kind of kind of very Tokyo Drift kind of going up the mountain. Um, what other, we've got a few, we've actually got a few more questions as well. Silent K666 asks, is there an airport in the game? Uh, 
There is, yeah, it's actually, so it's become a bit of a tradition for us to include a, <laughs> an airport. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got one in there. It's, uh, this time it's a slightly older abandoned airfield that's out in the, the middle of the sticks, sort of towards the north, uh, north side of the map. And there's, there's some really cool stuff that the uh, level design team have done with that as well. So they've, they've set up some really cool, uh, how would you describe them? Like, it's almost like an assault course there that you can kind of go in. Kind of, yeah, kind of like a gymkhana has been, yeah. uh, been filmed there, you yeah. know, kind of thing. So uh, tires and uh, obstacles and, and yeah. stuff like that. As, and, and it's fair to say that in the past, you know, we've always used the runway as that drag strip moment yeah. uh, in the games. But, but this time we actually have a dedicated drag strip uh, in the festival, uh, which people may have seen from some of uh, the... Yeah, no, I, I think I we were at it earlier, actually. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then there are, there are other drag strips that feature in the game as well. So we actually do have, as ridiculous as this sounds, there is one on the ice lake uh, in winter. Can, there is a drag yeah, strip yeah. on the ice lake. Yeah. And so, one on so the beach not? as well, if yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right, yeah. So I, I think that's one of the things that just kind of helps with showing seasons and how much difference there's going to be. And this is the jump that we're on about. And then, oh, okay, hold on. This is just incredible for me. Like, this kind of seeing that. <laughs> that is very British. Yep. Right, that kind of like, <laughs> that, that landscape is very Jumping British. Jumping off side, the cliff. Then, like, rock walls. <laughs> You know, not the way to jump off the cliff, but that kind of view, yeah. for me, is very British summer. Um, a lot of people um, are asking to see the map as well, if we can, are we, are we able to have We're going to do it or? next week when uh, we fix the bug with it. That, 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 <laughs> that's the thing. That's the developer honesty for you, right there. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we can't really show you that right now, but um, we, can, we can't show the map, but next week, next week, if you want to see the map, we will take a look at the map. So, um, next week, remember that. Also, uh, L Ward has just asked, is drone mode still a thing? Drone mode is still a thing, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Are we are we able to take have a look at drone uh, mode quickly? We can, yeah, we can. And also, it's worth it's worth mentioning actually with, with drone mode. So one of the things that to, uh, totally happened in three with the community that we ne didn't necessarily expect uh, was that we so we um, just because we were trying to make a really authentic world, we built in all the. Uh, laybys and car parks that existed in the, in the parts of the world we were recreating in Australia. And people started parking up there and having ad hoc car meets and, mm. and using drone mode to like film them and everything. So it, we, we totally made sure that we're catering to that, that now as well. Um, so we've got specific hangout spaces in the festival and we've made sure the whole world is littered with more of those kinds of areas for people to do that kind of thing. Be because it's probably worth mentioning that this whole stream um, has been done in Horizon Solo. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we obviously we talked about how the game is a shared world game. It would be mostly online, I guess, is probably a good way of uh, describing it. Um, but lots of people at E3 um, fed back to us and said, you know, what if I want to play it offline? What if I, what if I can't play it online? Um, this is, I guess, to demonstrate the fact that you, you can play you still solo get the uh, against drive avatars and a very similar experience, you know, in that regard to, to Forza Horizon 3. Um, next week on our stream in autumn, next Tuesday, um, we're going to be showing more of uh, the shared world stuff. So we're going to be showing Horizon Life. We're going to be showing some of the really cool things that you can do. Um, while the game is connected and while you are sharing the world with everyone else who is playing it uh, and we're going to try and convince some, uh, some folks to stay late and uh, upstairs and, and play the game and with get us involved. Uh, and get involved, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so for those wondering, what are the details for next week's stream? Uh, so that's a good question. So we're next Tuesday, I think at the earlier time of 7pm British summer time. Yep. Do your, uh, um, your math on that depending on where you live because uh, we're not obviously uh, doing it so with IX. We, we've got it here, we've got Tuesday yes. the 17th 7 p.m. BST or 11 a.m. PT. Um, so those those are the times you find. So what you can do as well is follow the channel, um, so you'll get notified uh, when when we go live, so you don't miss that out. Um, because I think that'll be a really fun stream and also the first look at autumn. Yeah, so we're going to be showing autumn next week. We're going to be showing uh, Shared World, Horizon, Li uh, Horizon Life. Um, we are going to be showing a showcase, um, I believe, as well, uh, which is. Um, which is just brilliant, that's why we're showing it. Is really. it there's, no, there's no narrative there. Is it's it just, thread, it's just is really, really is cool. Is it the Thread the Needle showcase, or is it a different one? It's a different one. It's, it's different something one. you have never seen before, and I mean that in almost every sense. <laughs> but the, that, that worries me. You've never seen Don't before. be worried, be excited. Is, yeah. is it going to be helicopters? Is it going to be like bikes? I will, I, I will leave you to guess, and you will not. <laughs> we, we, we will find out next week. Yeah. Um, as well, is just, just for people that are really interested in the game, is when people are going to be able to get their hands on it? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, so we are, I mean, we're still three months away from launch. Yep. Sorry about that, but, you know, but we are. Uh, the game is coming on Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs. 
um, on October 2nd of this year and as we announced at E3 it is going to be on Xbox Game Pass on the very same day uh, so if you're in that uh, if you're on that service you're going to be able to, to play it there to pick it up and play it which is which really so I, I i really excited about games pass because it's it's made me try out games that i wouldn't have tried out in the in, right. in the pa past yeah. and it means you can hop on play it huh <laughs> hey i know what i meant you know i, I know what you meant you know what I mean? uh, it's just one of those things it's a service that you can get involved in you can play you can all these brand new games like earlier in the year we can hop on try it out yeah. so October 2nd. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, we are looking forward to that and uh, we're going to keep doing